because I teach improv, I, uh, I like to start off with uh, telling the class that this is a space of non-judgment. Um, and then I ask them to say which is harder, just not judge others or judge themselves. And it's always themselves they judge more harshly. So that's one of the things we have to get rid of to, uh, to make a, a, a kind of a, a space of freedom and expanding our comfort zones, which is very important to do. And you can't do that if you're always watching yourself from outside. So again, it's a class about being present, um, actively listening to your scene partners. Uh, I actually have a class devoted to empathy. And the, one of the great things about empathy is you're focusing on the other people and how they're thinking and how they're taking things. Um, and to be really uh, conscious that that is a skill to have in life uh, that will take you everywhere. Because um, you need to feel the tone of the room, of people, of the energy. Uh, and there's, it's more than just the spoken language. We've got to look at body language. Um, also, I want them to uh, realize that they're enough, that, that we're we're such individuals and that's not that's that's a positive thing it's not a negative thing to conform to a certain way of being um, it's a lot of pressure and it's pressure we don't need to put on ourselves and for students just starting out I want them to honor themselves and I also want them to realize that their teachers and their bosses they'll make mistakes and it's better to address them the confusion or to, to deal with what they consider a contradiction or a mistake in the moment with whoever it is. And, uh, and I prefer that to sitting and watching the body language of a frustration, uh, which I can misinterpret as anger, as anything but what it is, which is just not sure of what's going on. So address these things in the moment. Everyone, I make mistakes. People make mistakes, and it's <clears throat> it's okay to address them uh, because it gives people a chance to excuse me. It gives people a chance to correct those mistakes and and keep the the uh, playing field level and cooperative. So, improv, living in the moment, active listening, um, and uh, staying present. It's just it's everything because everything you need to deal with is right now, and if you do it in those moments it's not looming. So staying in the moment is everything, especially for improv, but I think for life in general, and I do think improv is a life skills lesson, and everyone should kind of do it.